Hey there viewers, so we've had this um, Australian made pack of screwdrivers for a while. All these screwdrivers here are made in Australia, amazingly. I can't believe they're actually still making things like this in Australia, like a bloody well should. But the only part of this that's not made in Australia is this. This is made in Taiwan. Now apparently this is a highly safety retardant. Pressure of electric shock. Always check population of this device on a known circuit before using. Model SS 1799. It's a T50 volt. It's 80 to T50 volt AC and DC. 50 to 60 hertz. Consumes 0.1 watt. Part of that 0.1 watt will be going through your body. Obviously made in Taiwan. This one's a little bit different. You got your Resistor soldered to the tip there, and your knee on there, and your spring through there. So let's uh, test this thing on a known circuit before using, shall we? Okay, the old zone, here's our known circuit. We'll be testing the screwdriver one. 31. There you go. Learn to put your life on the line. Just with some two dollar or two cent Taiwanese or Chinese made screwdriver that thing's gonna save your life. Come on on that label. That's 10 kV going through that. That's a breakdown voltage there. So the resistor's already bloody uh, gone up in smoke. It couldn't resist. That's already a bugger. So that will allow the full 250 volts through your body now. Puff it on there, on. Oh, the melt at the end of it off. And that's only 30, that's only 30 milliamps. Oh, I think I need more volts. Trying to get a bigger MST. So we'll power this off, unplug safety first. Need more volts. Much bigger NST now. Let's uh, test on this known circuit before using it, shall we? Three, two, one. Yeah, breakdown voltage error. It's come over. Some kind of wind. Bit smelly in here, should do this outside, but it's too bloody cold this morning. Here we go. Four cards fly, even through that knee one. It's pretty destructive for 30 milliamps here. Alright, let's sacrifice the volts for some more current. Let's see what more current does. Huh, sparkler. Alright, let's sacrifice volts for more current. So we'll turn this off. Unplug safety first. MOT time. Well, let's try more current. Unballasted this month. Let's see how long. Uh oh, this screw ever last. Unballasted here. 31. <whistles> yep, neon's gone. Alright, power off. Unplug safety first. I've got to get me a little uh, safety fire containment chamber set up. I'm off of this outside, this one. So let's take this outside for safety uh, reasons. Alright, we've got the outside for safety reasons. Alright, power on. <whistles> that might cool down for a bit. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not going to sacrifice my body over some 
safety of a target screwdriver. Got some Corona there. I'm not even touching the ground with this. Look at this. You need to be extremely careful in doing these sorts of experiments. Look at that, just kind of just through the air. I'm not even touching anything with the other electrode. This is going through the brick to earth, so this brick must have a bit of moisture in it because it did rain uh, last night. And this wasn't even out in the rain, it was in the um, undercover. It's murdered, Jim. Power off. Unplug safety first. Yeah, the primer's not even that warm. I think the breaker or the yeah, breaker's getting in there. The breaker's about chipped, I think. Yeah, the breaker tripped. The breaker saves the day on this little power board here. Yeah, more Corona. Kill it. This is a ground. This, this one is connected to the ground. That's why it's not doing anything. This one is the actual uh, hot stick here. Connected to the, um, the uh, high voltage out is this one. Gee, it stinks. Breaker tripped. Alright, that's enough for that. We'll finish this later on. Okay, viewers. Look at that, all that plastic garbage floating everywhere. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I can see it. We'll have a bloody camera there. And there we are. Didn't even air, got a bit warm. Yeah, problem is not dangerously warm. It's still, uh, still uh, lu it's lukewarm, so the breaker saves the day. But I've got to make myself a um, proper, somehow, high voltage setup like this that lasts more than five minutes. There you go. There we are, I'll finish this later. It's getting a bit cold now. So for now, thanks for watching.